Hi there. Uh, for a question like this on the SAT, um, it says an amusement park ride requires a kid to be between 30 and 50 inches to get on. Which of the following inequalities describes the ride's requirement? So pretty much what this question is trying to get you to do is to take the requirement of a kid being between 30 to 50 inches tall um, and put that in an inequality kind of environment. So let's draw a Let's think about this question in terms of a number line. That's, that's going to be the way we solve this. So I'm going to think of this and say, you know what, this is the 30 inch and this is 50 inch in terms of um, the height of the student, of the kid. So um, in this case, pretty much one, w there are two things we need to do in terms of converting this question into inequalities. Uh, you need to think about doing the um, average of this 30 and 50. So essentially it's going to be 30 plus 50 over two, all right, just the average of that, um, of that, and that's going to be obviously 80 over two, which is 40, okay, which tells us that the average there is going to be 40. So that's the first thing you do. The second thing you do to try to change this into an inequality, actually an absolute value inequality, is to now find the difference, okay? So in the first case, we added the 30 and 50 divided by two. Now we have to find um, the difference there. So in this case, I'm going to do 50 minus 30, so the difference over two again. And this time it's going to be 20 over two, which is what, 10. Now, what this 40 gives us is obviously the um, the middle uh, value, the middle number of inches that we need here. But this 10 essentially tells us um, the gap, and we could probably have told that by just looking at these two numbers, tells us the gap, you know, between that. So meaning that, you know, as long as someone is about, a kid is about 40, they can go 40 inches tall. They can, you know, they have this still, there's still a buffer of 10 inches here and 10 inches here. And if you think about this in terms of absolute value, absolute value um, is, doesn't really care whether it's 10 inches taller, which is kind of like a plus 10, or it doesn't care if it's 10 inches smaller, which is kind of like a minus 10. So because of this it could be plus 10 or minus 10 from the average um, number of 40. The answer here will be B. The answer here will be B. The reason is because we can write this equation and say, you know what, whatever the height is, we need to subtract 40 is going to be the average of it, which is the 40 here. But it could be, it has to be within 10. So within 10 inches of the average. So if the average is 40, the um, the height, whatever the height is, has to be within 10. And that's essentially what this is telling us in terms of the inequality. So as a result, the answer is B. So all you had to do is find the average first, which is the 40, which would tell you the number in here, like the 20, 40, 10, 30. Um, it would tell you what this number is, which we got to be 40. And then this number is telling us it has to be less than that within that. So it's within 10 of the 40. So 10 up from the 40, which is 50, and 10 down from the 40, which is 30. So as a result, the answer here is B.